Toy Green. Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Addison396. Welcome to this video. Today we're going to be unboxing a couple of Razer Battlefield 4 Special Edition, Limited Edition, Collector's Edition. There we go, Collector's Edition stuff, swag. So we've got the Razer Tapia, Ta Tapian, Tapian, there we go, the Razer Tapian mouse, uh, ambidextrous mouse, and we've also got the Black Shark Expert 2.0 gaming headset. Um, now I'll be honest with you guys, I have opened these already, this is not a true legitimate opening the seal for the first time unboxing, the reason is I wanted to test them out and I was just so hyped to actually receive them and use them uh, that I couldn't wait for the light to be right and the next day to come for this unboxing. So I have actually already opened them, um, so I'll be able to give you a sort of a quick review along with unboxing them and showing them to you, um, but let's just get straight into it. So. I just want to make one thing clear as well, this isn't a paid for uh, promotion, it's actually illegal for me to say it's not a paid for promotion, if it turns out it is, so you can trust me it's not a paid for promotion. I've got a contact at Razer, let's just, uh, let's just say that, who has happily, or has made me very happy to receive these products, they've sent me these products. So. Let's let's start off with the mouse actually, let's start off with the mouse. So we've got the Razer, Razer Tapian uh, Battlefield 4 Collector's Edition. I'll just show you guys there. If the picture isn't too clear on this camera, because I've had to borrow this camera, because uh, mine isn't working right now. I don't know about the quality of what you're seeing right now, but if it's not too clear, I'll stick up a nice high resolution image. But hopefully it will do, hopefully it will, the camera quality will do for this video. So we've got the, you've got the mouse inside, so let's, Unbox it and see what you get. Now this was all nicely, neatly, neatly packaged at first. Uh, probably isn't going to be now. Yep. So let's start off with the small stuff. A couple of razor stickers. Uh, I've actually get you get two with the mouse and only one with the headset. Um, so yeah, something to bear in mind. <laughs> I doubt that I'd change your purchase, but yeah. Anyway, so you get two nice little razor stickers uh, to add to your PC. And uh, you get this, which will make you jealous of all the other products that you haven't yet spent your money on. Just showing the keyboard, the mouse mount, the headphones, and the mouse in total. We have the Razer Quick Start Guide to get you synced up to their software system that they have. They've got a special, uh, I think it's called, what's it called? Let's have a look. It's called... There we go, Razer Synapse 2.0 enabled. So basically, on this mouse, it's got a couple of buttons, and I think the way it works is, I've not had a chance to like sync it all up yet, but I think the way it works is, you can set different profiles, so obviously you've got remappable buttons on the mouse, and let's just say, for example, you have profile one, uh, say you're a competitive battlefielder or somebody who plays battlefield quite often, but you also like to play something like League of Legends where the control scheme is very different for the mouse. You can have profile one for Battlefield 4, profile two for League of Legends. You're able to just switch to them on the fly, which is pretty sweet. So that's all we get for there. We also got a limited edition Razer dog tag for. In Let's get that out of the way first. Uh, for in-game for Battlefield 4 and it allows you to have the just show you a little picture of it I don't know if you can see that but it will be on screen I'll put a little screenshot up basically it allows you to wear the Razer dog tag which I'm wearing right now which is this one uh, it allows you to wear that in-game on the battlefield but it's also got additional writing on it, it says um, BGFG by Gamers for Gamers so that's pretty cool my little uh, shout out to Level BF guys there. Good old guys at Level BF. Love those guys. Make sure you go and check out Level BF as well. Um, so yeah, this is the mouse. It's got a. Let's just make sure I get all of these terms right. So it's got a seven foot lightweight braided fiber cable, um, which is all right. I've not noticed it catching on the edge of surfaces and things like that, which is I guess what it's there for. It's meant to roll across surfaces quite well and it doesn't sort of catch on the end of your table. Um, it's got a ambidextrous feel. Now, 
I'm not really sure what I think about the amb ambidextrousness of this mouse. That's not even a sentence. But anyway, you get what I'm trying to say. I don't. I'm not really too comfortable with it yet. Um, I feel like if it was just left or right-handed, then these fingers here would feel more comfortable. Um, it kind of feels like I'm having to sort of hold it into my hand and grip it. Um, now, other people have used these mice, and I've talked about. I've talked to somebody who has actually got this exact copy of this mouse and they said that it suits them really well and they actually really like it. So I think this is obviously just a person, well it obviously is just a personal preference of mine. Um, but I, I'm not really sure what to think of the ambidextrousness of it yet. So yeah, there's that to consider. Um, the buttons, you've got, uh, your, you've got your two extra buttons there. Obviously you've got your, your couple of buttons there got your mouse wheel which clicks in you've got two extra buttons on that side and then also two extra buttons on that side now on the bottom it does have what's it called a 4G dual sensor system so it apparently has uh, yeah there it goes 820 DPI 4G dual sensor system um, Outfitted with la with a laser and an optical sensor to accurately cal calibrate the mouse to any surface for exceptional pinpoint ease whilst moving with instant in-game responsiveness. So, so yeah, it's got instead of just your usual laser or your usual uh, what's the other one called optical sensor, you've got them combined. So. The more the merrier, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's the. Oh yeah, just to show you what it looks like on top as well. It's got the obviously the the rain theme with the city lights in the background, and then it does say Battlefield Four on the bottom. So yeah, I think that's pretty nice. The the other the reverse side of it, it's got the the stops where it would rest on the table. They feel nice and smooth, and uh, they're not too raised, so it doesn't cause that much friction. Uh, and it does raise it off the ground, or, well, the surface slightly, which is, I guess, what you want. So, um, this this is something that I've not actually used properly yet. I do need to sync it up, so I'll be able to give you a better review of the headphones. But I really like it. I think I like the aesthetics of it more than I like the feel. Um, and it's really cool, obviously, it being Battlefield 4. I'm going to be sold on that, because I'm in love with the Battlefield series. But... Um, yeah, let me let me guys know what you think to it. What does it look like? Do you think it's something that you would you would get if you had the the money? I know I wouldn't be able to get it if I'd have to pay for it. So Jesus Christ, I uh, I don't know whether it's worth it or not really. Um, the price that it is. Uh, but yeah, so let's move on to the headphones. These are the things that I'm more excited about. Now the reason I'm more excited about these is because simply it's got a mic and. That means I don't have to use my built-in PC crappy mic anymore <clears throat> and I will be able to speak to you guys and you'll be able to hear me a lot more clearly which I'm really really excited for so just before we move on to that actually you probably already noticed wearing a Razor t-shirt I've got a couple of these to give away I'm not too sure how many exactly I need to look it up I have promised a couple to a couple of people um, but I will be giving away t-shirts when I can afford the postage and packaging so it's getting to that point in the year where I am running out of my student loan and my next student loan hasn't come through yet. So when I can afford the postage and packaging, I will be doing a giveaway. They'll just remain on the side or in the wardrobe, just hung up, not being worn um, until I can afford to give them away. So don't worry, that will happen at some point. I've also got one of these little wristbands. Um, I think I will... I'm, I don't really use these or wear these that much, it's just not my sort of style. Um, I know they do do the sort of soft uh, wristbands as well sometimes and I never really wear those either. Um, so if you would like one of these, just stay tuned for those giveaways for the t-shirts because I will be sticking this in with one of those t-shirts as well. So on to the big boys, these are the beasts, they have. Uh, obviously an exclusive Battlefield 4 design. They have memory foam uh, leatherette ear cushions, stereo sound with it, with it enhanced bass, 40mm um, magnets that go on the side uh, to keep everything in place. They have a detachable boom microphone for voice chat or added mobility. Now this is one of the best features about these headphones. It's got the little microphone on the side, you can use them for gaming. 
then when you want to just go off and adventure and explore the actual real life world i know guys it does exist outside those doors there are real worlds uh, you, you can actually take the microphone off and use it just like a normal headset and it's one of the coolest looking headsets around so uh, we've got sound isolate sound isolating Circumerable. Why do they? Why do they? Why do they add these fancy words in? Just say it's a circle-shaped ear cup design. Jesus. So yeah. Sir, circum, circumeral, circumeral. That's not even a word, is it? Jesus. Anyway, let's get on with it. Black Shark Expert 2.0 headphones, Battlefield 4 edition from Razer. So there they are. So you get the headset. You also get a nice little. I don't know if you can see it, nice little package here. I'm going to take these out. Obviously, again, like I said, it's already been opened, but I've put everything back into where it should be just so you can get a look. So you open this up like so. Oops. There we go. And these things here, these little wires, they actually did come inside a packet, but I've removed that and I can't find it. So I'll stick those to one side and explain those in a sec. What else do we have in here? So we have, uh, again, the little showing off what, what else they've got, making you cry that you don't have enough money to purchase it all. Uh, other products from Razer. It also sort of doubles up as a beer mat, um, which is pretty cool. It's like a Battlefield 4 beer mat, so that's quite good. you got your quick start guide. Um, there's not much quick starting to be done in this. It's basically just telling you how to detach things and adjust things. Uh, as the headphones are adjustable and a razor sticker which I've already used you'll see it is on the side of the headphones so to the good stuff right so just show you guys taking this out watch me break it now on the this my look oh there we go so awkward taking it out in this position and then the wires I'm just going to turn it around to pull the wires out because I don't obviously want to pull on the wires too much so, come on wires, there we go, right, and then there's also one little thing left in the box, this little silver thing here, that will get explained in a second or so. So, here they are. Now the normal Razer ones, if you were to get this and they get this headset, the Black Shark 2.0, Expert 2.0, they would normally come with a green wire. Now I think I kind of prefer the green wire, and I think the green wire would have looked nicer on these, but I get why they've gone for the orange wire. It's obviously to stay in the theme of Battlefield. So, just to sh give you a, an overall view of them, you've got Battlefield 4 on the top. I think that looks really nice. You've got the orange threaded there, which stands out against the black pretty nicely. You've got your headphones, your actual headphone piece here. Uh, that's where I've stuck the razor sticker on that side and to give you a better view of what it looks like without a sticker uh, it's just the the rain theme the same as uh, sort of the background loading screen when you're going into into well when you're on the main menu of Battlefield 4 and uh, yeah so here's the boom mic so it's adjustable it goes all the way around so you can have them whichever, di whichever direction you want so you can have them like you can have the mic on that side to the right of myself right now or we can switch it up and have it on the left side so now it is adjustable so you've got these you've got these little things here uh, and that allows you to adjust it so if you for example need to talk to somebody in game you can do that and then flick it back or you can get the exact distance away from your mouth and there's also an adjustable one at this end here uh, which means that you can do some you know eat it if you want uh, uh, um, these things here they do have uh, twisty little knobs on them I don't know if you can see them too well but they they can twist and it just tightens them up so they're not as flexible anymore or it makes them looser so that you can actually flex them around and like I said one of my favorite features of this headset is the fact that you can do this so you're gaming along you decide that you need to knit to the shops this is where this little thing comes in handy you just pull pull the mic off like so, slot this little thing in here, like that, and you're ready to go. You're good to go. This jack will actually fit into uh, any of your, you know, your iPods, your phone, anything like that. 
And that's where this other lead comes in. So you've got the lead. If you're wanting to use anything on your PC, so if you're wanting to use your headphones, there are gaming headphones, so if you're wanting to use them for gaming, you would just take this side of the jack, which comes from the headphones, stick it into the splitter, and then stick, the, stick that one into your uh, headphone slot and that one into your mic slot, and you're good to go. Um, so, I think that is pretty much it. I really like them. Um, on the inside, they've got a nice little orange theme going on. They have adjustable bits here, so you undo these bits, you undo these bits, and that allows you to adjust them if you've got like a huge head. If you've got a midget head like me, you can <laughs> adjust them back down. And uh, let's tighten them back up. So, oops, just, they're that adjustable, you can adjust them right off. Let's just uh, fix that, there we go. And yeah, they, they actually work really nicely, they give a really clear, crisp sound quality. Um, I'm noticing background noises or parts of songs that I've not heard for a long time just because I've not had a nice set of headphones. You know when you you know when you're like listening to a song and you stick headphones in and you, you you can just hear it's hard to explain like better quality sound to somebody but you can just hear it it's deeper it's got more bass but it's not like Dr. Dre beats where it's like just bass fucked out of your ears like shoving bass into your ears to the max. Um yeah, they just give a really nice, crisp sounding quality image, uh, image, sound. So, um, yeah, I'm stumbling over my words now, so it's probably time for me to go. But let me know what you think to these products, and uh, I will keep you informed on how I'm going to do the giveaway. Kevin Simpson, if you guys don't already know that uh, good old fake Kevin Simpson account that was set up by myself he's already given one of the codes away so congratulations to the winner and he screenshotted the winner screenshotted the fact that it had been redeemed so don't worry the, all these codes are valid they are all redeemable if you would like to win either a t-shirt uh, one of the wristbands or one of the dog, cat, dog tag codes um, let me know in the comments below just so I know how many people are roughly wanting this sort of thing and, oh yeah, that's what I was going to say, finally, the dog tags, they are only available on PC. Now, I didn't realise at the time, I thought they were redeemable uh, on all platforms, but they're not. So, apologies to console guys. Um, I'm a console guy, like, through and through. I know I do merge every now and again into PC gaming, and I've been getting into it, well, I've been getting back into it quite a bit recently, but I'm still 100% a console gamer, so... Don't you worry me there. Don't worry about me there. I, uh, I've i got you back, guys. It's just a bit unfortunate that these codes are only redeemable on PC. Um, if I had the choice, I'd prefer it if they were only redeemable on console. Um, just because, you know, that's a community that I'm part of. But, yeah. So, thank you very much for your time. I really do appreciate you watching. Give us a thumbs up and a like. And, obviously, if you're new here, subscribe for more Battlefield gaming-related stuff. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, basically, try and fulfill my get some use out of my journalism degree by keeping you guys up to date with all the news and the latest information some sort of exclusive stuff so yeah stay tuned to my twitter for more of that update you sort of stuff and thank you very much for your time um i've said that about three or four times now i'm too tired i shouldn't be doing these when i'm tired take care guys bye